Jocelyn. Hi, my name is Miss Sarah. And today we are doing a bun tutorial for all of you who need a bun in for performances, for class, for auditions, for anything. Okay, to start you will need a regular hairbrush, um, a hairbrush that looks like this. Frizzy brush. A frizzy brush. And then if you have textured hair or curly hair like Jocelyn's does, um, you might want a smaller um, frizzy brush or um, one that looks like this. Um, you will also need hair gel, hairspray, and then again, if you have textured or curly hair, you might want something that looks like this. Um, this is Pantene. Um, it's called Edge Tamer. So, and we then still use a lot of it because it's like a blade. Yes, we'll get there. Um, but you'll also want hair ties, and then um, lots and lots of bobby pins, and a hairnet. Okay, so to begin, you first want to make a nice, uh, clean ponytail at the crown of your head. And the way, there's a few different ways to find the crown of your head. So um, you can put your hand on your forehead like this, and then where your fingers end right here is the crown of your head. You can also follow the ear line up and a diagonal and that typically um, reaches the crown of your head. So we're gonna put it nice and high at the crown of your head. Um, if you need to brush, Jocelyn's hair is already brushed so I don't think I'm gonna use a regular brush. Um, brush on her hair. So I'm gonna go straight to the frizzy brush. Um, I'll put these hair ties on my wrist. Um, so the, his, the friz, frizzy brush, the frizzy brush, the frizzy brush. <laughs> Um, you're just going to brush your hair back to try and get rid of all of the bumps and you can see how her bumps and her curls um, kind of become straight. And um, her hair is a little damp also so I probably won't add any more water to it but this is a good time to add um, some water or if they're coming fresh out of the shower it might be a good time to do it depending on the texture of their hair. So uh, again bringing it nice and high all the way up to the crown of their head. Um, smoothing it out as you go. You want to make sure they don't have any bumps on the side, which can be a little bit tricky um, at times. So from here, you can either use gel um, and put it in your hand and then just smooth it back, or you can use some hairspray and do the same thing. I like to use hairspray. Um, Jocelyn's hair is kind of curly. Yeah, you might want to close your eyeballs, cover your face, um, and just put a lot of hairspray on there. And then again, grab brushing it back. Don't There's. spray it too close to your head because then you'll get like white splotches. Yes, that is true. Depending, this hairspray is good um, hairspray to use. So yeah, smoothing it out. What the ponytail looks like at this time, obviously Jocelyn's hair is super curly, so what it looks like doesn't really matter. Then you're going once you have it nice and smooth, you're gonna wrap. Sorry if I'm hurting you. Wrap the hair ties around, nice and tight. So I used two hair ties on Jocelyn's hair because she's got pretty thick hair. Uh, and then again, um, you can use this brush while it's in the ponytail. Is it not tight enough? You want to make it tighter? Well, you're not dancing in it, so it's okay. I'm saying, I'm going to leave it. Oh, it's for later. You're going to leave it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so nice and tight. Is that better? Yeah. Um, and then you can spray it again. And then use this brush to smooth out any, ooh, any uh, frizzies that are sticking out. And again, you could use gel or hairspray or a mix of both if that's what you want to do. Okay, so from there, you probably also want to pick up the hair, thank you, the hair and spray underneath and do the same thing so there's no frizzies in the back. And again, at the base of the ponytail, I don't know if you can see, but at the base of the ponytail, there's a little bit of frizzies because I brushed them back, but it won't matter because you're going to cover it with a bun. So. Um, for thin hair, you can start twisting like this and then do one bun, but you see how thick her um, ponytail is? She's got a lot of hair, so and it's curly. So I'm going to split it into two, like this, and then I drop one and start twisting the one side. So her hair is luckily not super long, so um, you don't have to twist too much. So twist. And then I'm going to start twisting it around her ponytail. And then this is where lots of bobby pins come in. If you ever bring me your child and they say, Miss Sarah, I need a bun, do not send them with three bobby pins because I will look at them like they're crazy. So um, twist and then start pinning 
around. It's okay, you can leave it there. Oops, this bobby pin is not working with me. Twist and pin. If they start screaming, then you probably poked their head. Don't put the bobby pin in this way. If you see, that's one, does that one hurt? Oh, a little bit. Let me take it out. <laughs> so I put the bobby pin in sort of this way, and then I grab the hair, and then I push it in sideways. So yeah, in and down and then in, but not straight down. Otherwise they'll scream and have a headache and tell me something hurts. So anyways, I um, pin, I put about two pins in there and I drop that piece of hair and then I start with the other one, start twisting and then I put it at the bottom. Can you turn, look that way towards the, yeah. So I put that one down um, so that way you can start twisting at the other side. And then again, in and across and then keep going. The goal is to make it as flat as possible because if we wanted to put like a hair piece, um, which for some of the dances, they put a hair piece in. You can look back for the regular way. Um, sometimes they put a hair piece in or a hat over their bun. Um, you want it to be as flat as possible to be able to do that. So again, I just did the same thing. I put two pins in, twisted and pinned, and then I dropped the hair. And then I pick up the other piece of hair and just continue going around um, until basically the whole thing is pinned. If you have long hair, you might have to um, drop up the piece of hair multiple times. So twist and pin all the way around. I just finished that one side, and then I'm gonna do the other side. And it will look big around but it should be somewhat flat to her head so kind of like a cinnamon roll is what you want it to look like mm -hmm. okay look that way so you can kind of see so you can see this is like one piece of her hair and the other one is kind of intertwined around the other so from there she does have little frizzies sticking up like this she's got curly hair if you have layered hair um, you'll have lots of little frizzies sticking up. So that's why we need a hairnet. So hairnet kind of goes around the entire thing and then you have all this extra stuff. So what I do is, is I twist it and then wrap it again. And she does not, she has too much hair to wrap it three times. So what I usually do with this is I just twist it and then I take a pin out and I tuck it in there and then pin it back. Then what I like to do usually, you don't have to do this, you could either just pin, pin the hairnet in, put a few hairnets in, or if you wanna make it flatter, you can take pins out, which seems counterproductive, I know, but the hairnet will hold all of our hair in there. So take some pins out, and then if they're complaining about their head hurting, this is a good time to try and replace the pins. So take the pins out, and then take the hair and try and smush it a little bit flatter. So again, if you have a head piece that goes over the bun, this is where you probably wanna make it super flat. Oops, I found another pin in there. Is that the one that's hurting your head too, huh? You're gonna feel it in there. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, so yeah, then make it as flat as possible and then smush it down and pin it again. Um, and like I said, it doesn't matter how big or round it is, but you want it to be as flat to their head as possible. Um, so that way it is good for hair pieces and um, stuff like that. So again, just putting lots of pins in it. You don't want it to fall out while they're dancing or moving around or flipping around. So uh, bobby pins will be your best friend. Um, they do have ones that are closed like this and ones that are open. I like the closed ones, they just hold better. Um, sometimes it's better to do a bun with um, hair that hasn't been washed freshly because uh, freshly washed and conditioned hair is sometimes slippery and hairstylists will tell you the same thing. Um, yeah, you don't wash your hair. Yeah, it doesn't hold as well. Um, so yeah, again, lots of bobby pins. And then from there, did that one hurt your head? Mm -hmm. Uh, from there, you can add more hairspray. So she's got a few little um, things sticking up. You can use your hand or use that brush. And just, um, I'm not gonna put a ton of hairspray in her hair because she's not going on stage right now, but um, you could literally engulf her whole head in hairspray. Um, and then 
apply a hair piece or um, a, whatever you need to apply to your hair. I would not put glitter in your hair unless it's um, specific to a certain dance. Um, and yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below.